Hey, welcome to Mercury Retrograde, an opportunity four times a year for review. In this part, we're going to uh, have a focus of jobs and careers. Now, jobs and careers are different from each other. Some people's job becomes their career. Some people start off with a career that evolves into something else, or they will jump off of their career and start using skills that they've built up for something else, or they find that their entrepreneurial spirit comes forward and they develop something else. However, um, during the retrograde energy, it's distinctly a time for making peace, which is why a lot of times people will um, find out on their job, you know, that they have some dissatisfaction or there's things that they wish were different or they want to change. So it's making peace, not in the physical, but in your spirit with those around you who have, who you have near. So this is going to be um, people that sometimes are, uh, can feel like they interfere with your work. It can feel like people that don't support you somehow or don't support the hours you have to put in. Um, they don't support you financially or you know, some other way that there's people around you, but you you want it fixed. You want to make peace with it. Okay. You can be making peace with employees, colleagues, customers, and those who pay you, which could be um, for products you're selling, or if you are um, in the position of being a middle person, uh, maybe you're getting things from vendors raw materials or something, and then you're turning it into something else. You want to make peace and you want to ask for some clarity on this, okay? Now, many times this clarity will come in dream time. It won't always come, you know, right away in the physical, although you can have flashes of inspiration. Your best time is going to be in the morning when you're fresh, when your mind is more fresh, unencumbered by whatever the day takes on. And you will find that you're better off just jotting down some things, keeping a notebook handy for, you know, how can you do this? Everyone is going through stuff even more so now. And if you have people around you, chances are they will go through things at certain points. And you may be the stronger person. That doesn't mean that you don't want peace with whatever they're going through. You may still need to take care of business or get things done and you know you have to make the effort for it. During economic transitions, there will be doors opening and closing. And I remember a quote I saw once from one of my favorite books, um, empires are built, and fortunes are made in the upturn of an empire and also in the destruction of an empire. Now, people are making choices about that. There are people who will take lemons and make lemonade with it, okay? There are people who will buy stocks when the economy turns down and people panic sell. There are people who will um, be in a hard position and they need to sell an asset such as a home or a car or something like that. There's always someone who's ready to buy for the right price. However, these things are changing where people are not seeking to take advantage of bad situations, okay? Some people are. As we move forward, there are people who are literally not even knowing that they're turning things around for others and many people. So you must learn to tune in, not just with your instincts, but also with your instincts plus your higher guidance and not get angry. This is why you have to pause. If you find you're getting angry about a situation, yes, you're entitled to feel your anger. You can't suppress it. You cannot hold it in your gut. However, you have to get rid of that anger, usually through movements, usually through um, expressing it in a healthy way. Honestly, learn to hit your pillow or something to get rid of it. And then you go back to your drawing board and you tune in. If you cannot tune in, you need to get out into nature. You need to change your scenery, get away a little bit somehow. 
Thank you.